So now that I've uh, gone around and I've tightened up all the corner tie-outs, you can see that I've brought that tarp quite a bit lower onto the hammock. Once again, if I want to bring it even lower, all I have to do is just adjust this prussic, um, you know, closer up here. It'll end up making this more slack, and it'll drop that tarp further down. I mean, I can make it touch the ridge line very easily just by letting out all of the slack on this prussic. Um, and that's one of my favorite features of, um, you know, following the suspension, the hammock suspension up, and also with this prussic attached here with this Marlin spike hitch and um, the micro beaner. You could uh, also, one piece that I didn't mention, you don't need to have a micro beaner here. You could just as easily um, tie a knot in here, pull the cordage through the prussic, and then tie, um, you know, two slippery half hitches or a slip bunt line or something along those lines, and it would work exactly the same. So, um, the next pieces I wanted to touch on are going to be the corner tie-outs and also the side tie-out. So, once again, the dimensions on the continuous ridge line is 30 feet. Um, the, each one of the corner tie-outs, it's the same material, Dynaglide, with uh, 1.5 millimeter um, sterling accessory cord prussics. Um, they're all 10 feet in length. And then we'll get to the finer points of this, uh, these side pullouts here shortly. Let's take a look at the corner ties. Corner tie-outs, um, we've got the plastic triangles um, that come straight off the tarp. I've got a piece of shock cord. Um, this is either 1 8 or whatever the size is that's um, a gauge smaller than that. Um, this is a loop of shock cord, it's just tied with a, um, you know, an overhand knot. And what it is, is it's girth hitched to the plastic ring here. And then we have this uh, similar setup to the, um, the tarp ridge line. This is that um, 1.5 millimeter accessory cord. And it's girth hitched to the shock cord. And then it's prussicked onto a 10 foot piece of Dynaglide. So once again, coming from the plastic ring here, it's the plastic ring the, or I guess you'd call that a triangle, <laughs> it's girth hitched with a piece of shock cord is girth hitched onto that. The shock cord is then girth hitched onto um, the accessory cordage, and then the accessory cord is attached using a prussic uh, onto the Dynaglide. And the reason why I like these prussics, so we have a, a loop in both ends, the reason why I like these prussics so much is because all you have to do is tighten this prussic up, you have to use both hands, um, but it will end up really raking down on this tarp here, and obviously that shock cord keeps everything nice and taut, um, and you can tighten this very easily or loosen this um, depending on where you need your stake to be. Um, you can actually take a quick look, now that I passed it by, this was a patch job on the um, um, this is on uh, spin UL. This was uh, two little holes made by some sort of object, and that's just basically a uh, additional piece of spinnaker attached with GE silicone two. And you can see those holes are actually pretty relatively large, um, and they patched up just fine. They've held for uh, going on two seasons now, and um, look a little Frankenstein-ish, but uh, they seem to have worked out just fine. So those are the corner uh, tie-outs. Let's take a look at these side tie-outs. Now this was, um, I purchased this before it was an option to have um, side pull-outs sewn in. So these are just aftermarket. These are grip clips. And these have worked extremely well. Um, and I actually have a piece of balloon on the outside and the inside. Um, it's recommended by the manufacturer to, um, to use that because it prevents it from slipping on this fabric. And then I just have some uh, some cordage of some kind, uh, whatever I had lying around at the time. This is probably 2.2 mil uh, cordage that's attached directly to the um, grip clip. Then I have a 10 foot piece of Dynaglide that is attached basically in a U shape here. So if you would imagine, we've got five, pe five feet of Dynaglide here, and then it ends up making a loop through a piece of shock cord there and following it right back down to the other piece. So this is 10 feet, the length of this. And then we also have a 10 foot piece that's attached, that's going out to that tree over there. And we'll talk about that momentarily. So this, once again, this Dynaglide just has a uh, spliced eye in the end. 
that I've girth hitched onto that um, piece of cordage coming off the grip clip. If we follow it over here, this is a piece of shock cord um, that basically just floats freely on this piece of Dynaglide here. Um, and basically that'll help find, the, it'll sort of find its own best location um, by just having it freely floating on there. You could just as easily tie, um, you know, maybe an overhand on a bite or something like that here permanently and then girth hitch the shock cord onto that, but I found it to work just fine with just having the shock cord actually tied, sort of looped around that way and just tied. Um, it, seemed as, it's, it has seemed to have worked just fine. Um, if we follow it over, I actually have two pieces of shock cord built into this. Um, I just recently added this piece as a fail-safe. Um, so what will happen is if someone ends up tripping over this, this piece will actually break. Um, and I haven't actually removed the secondary, my original piece of shock cord, the tensioner over there. Um, but this was actually a shock cord that was, uh, I found, I believe Head Change for You was the person who posted uh, this self-tensioning guy line here. Um, and that worked just fine. My only issue was I ended up um, deciding that I wanted a fail-safe um, if someone tripped over this. Um, so this shock cord would break before the Dynaglide would uh, end up ripping a hole um, in this side of the tarp. I obviously already have two holes there. I didn't need uh, two additional ones um, on the side pullouts as well if myself would be the most likely one to actually trip over this. But So... Uh, we have a piece of shock cord here, and this is tied, this is once again just an overhand knot, um, and this is a loop of shock cord, and it's girth hitched onto, this is set up extremely similar to the side tie-outs as well, this is a loop of uh, 1.5 mil, and that's uh, prussicked onto this Dynaglide, and you can adjust this the exact same way, uh, just by pulling on this, and it'll either tighten or loosen this side up. Once again, this is a 10-foot piece. All of my pieces of Dynaglide are 10 feet. So this piece running to the tree here is 10, 10 feet long. My piece that is running um, this way in a U-shape is also 10 feet long. And then my, um, my side tie-outs are also 10 feet long. The reason why I like that is you can see demonstrated here. This is actually, so on your, uh, your side tie-outs here, this is going to be... Uh, you're going to have 10 feet of adjustability there. On your side pullouts here, you're actually going to have 15 feet because imagine you've got 5 feet and then 5 feet, so that's going to be a total of 5 feet out and then an additional 10 feet here. The reason why I like that is here's a perfect example. The tree, this tree is probably a good, I don't know, that's probably 5, that's probably 10 feet away from my tarp and I'm still able to actually tie this out um, to this tree. And the reason why I like that is because you can also do the same thing with the porch mode um, with any of the corner tie-outs. If you have that extra 10 feet um, coming off the end of them, you're actually more likely or more able to um, be able to set up a porch mode without having to have additional um, you know, hiker poles or trail sticks or something like that to be able to support it. So I prefer to go with 10 feet for all my pieces of Dynaglide. I went shorter for a time. Um, I believe I did five feet for each, and I ran into a situation where I had a nice big tree like that that was uh, about two feet away from me, and I wasn't able to get around it to put, um, you know, the porch up. So I decided to go a bit longer. Um, if you take a look over this way, I'll just show you the way that I attach to a tree. Um, the Dynaglide goes around the tree, and basically this, um, you can see the loop in here you actually make this sort of like a toggle and that holds um, that holds this perfectly um, and that's the way that I do my tie outs to trees for uh, like porch mode or to do something like this with the uh, the hiker pole for the uh, side tie outs so we're going to uh, cut here and we're going to pick up I'm going to discuss a bit about my uh, my hammock suspension here shortly and um, once again these are just methods that have worked for me um, they may not work for you. You may have a method that works wonderfully for you. The key is to uh, just get out there and enjoy it for a bit. Um, so we're going to pick up on the next video here.